Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another round one water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing all three of these waters. First up is Quest Spring Water. This is from the store Family Dollar. Next up is Sprouts Purified Water from the grocery store Sprouts from Utah. And finally we have Nestle Pure Life Water from China. I've already reviewed Nestle Pure Life Water, but this one is from China. It's got a different source, so it would probably have a different taste, possibly. Uh, this is a water from Ian Zuto. He sent me some you know, waters to review from China in the past, and this is my final one to review. And you know, normally in round one, I just do two waters, but these are all pretty plain, pretty bland waters. I don't have that much to say about them. So I'm just doing three this, this video. So it's my channel. I'll do whatever I want. So... The Quest water is from Family Dollar. This was $1 for a six pack of this. And I kind of had some confusion and a little incident or whatever at the register when I bought this. Um, this is $1 exactly, which is kind of interesting. Like, no change. It's just exactly $1 for a six pack. I handed the lady a $2 bill and she gave me no change. And I kind of had to confront her about it. I'm like, uh, I'm looking at the receipt, and I'm like, hmm, it says $1. So we just kind of stared at each other back and forth for like a minute. And I was like, I gave you a $2 bill. And she, she, she said, no, you didn't. And I said, yeah, I did. And she said, no, you didn't. <laughs> and I said, I check the register. I just gave you a $2 bill. So she had to call over a manager to open the register for her. And she checked. And yeah, I gave her a $2 bill. And it was one dollar, so she was supposed to give me change. But I guess people were so um, unaccustomed to seeing two dollar bills that she just saw it as a one dollar bill because they look pretty similar. Anyway, okay, so that's my little rant about that. So this Quest water is from Family Dollar. It's from New Ringgold, PA, and it's got micron filtration. And so New Ringgold, PA, that sounded familiar to me. Um, it's because I've also reviewed two other waters from New Ringgold PA from the Crossroads Beverage Group. I also reviewed Crystal 2O Purified Water and Family Gourmet Purified Water. Uh, Family Gourmet is from Family Dollar. Quest is from Family Dollar. So I think that Family Gourmet might have just changed their branding. So I might have reviewed this in the past with just a different brand. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm wrong about that. The Chinese water is 330 milliliters. I uh, I should probably be comparing it to another Nestle Pure Life water for a more fair comparison. Uh, the only thing I have to say about this is that Ian um, Zulo says he got it on a bus. So in a bus in China was selling it. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means. That's just what Ian's email says. It was from a bus. The Sprouts purified water is from Utah. I was about to I was about to say that this water has traveled a lot because I brought it back all the way from Utah. But really, this one has traveled a lot. This is all the way from China. Utah is nothing compared to China. Okay. This is purified with reverse osmosis and it's bottled by Niagara Bottling Company. They make a ton of waters. I've reviewed so many Niagara bottles already. I probably already know exactly what this tastes like. But on the second thought, this is bottled by Niagara in Ontario, Ontario, so maybe this Niagara bottle will be different because it's from a different source. I'm gonna try it and find out. Let's see. So let's just open them up and start tasting them and testing them. Just the Quest water. They're all just simple, cheap, you know, cheap plastic. This one's a little bit thicker, I think, but they're just cheap bottled waters. Yeah, the standard mild plasticky taste to it. Sprouts water. I keep wanting to say it's sprout water, but it's sprouts. Is there a person named Sprout and it's their store? It's Sprouts store? I don't know. Very similar. Very similar plasticky taste. Here is the Nestle Pure Life water. I would give you more information about it, but I don't speak Chinese. I don't know what the bottle says. I know how to say thank you. It's shisha. That's how you say thank you in Chinese. 
or shisha, something like that. Not, not, a, not a plasticky taste though. Typically with waters, the more that they travel, like the worse they should taste. Because, you know, you keep changing temperatures, changing elevations. The plastic in the bottle is going to break down more and more. You know, I've had this for a long time, too. I think Ian first emailed me in March of this year, I think. So I've had this for a while. And it's traveled a lot. So I kind of expected a strong plasticky taste. But it's not, it's not there. It's pretty mild. Yeah, so guys, this is episode 7001 of John Drinks Water. We just passed 7,000. You know, sorry. I'm sorry episode 7,000 wasn't, like, mind-blowing. I try to do something kind of special for the thousandth episodes, the zero zero zeros. And, you know, it was just a 360 video with a bunch of me's. Nothing, like, mind-blowing. But I, I'm never going to be able to beat episode 3,000. You know, I traveled all over the world. I think that's one of my favorite episodes. Or probably, definitely the, my favorite episode. I'm never going to be able to beat that. I just can't afford to um, do crazy stuff like that all the time. But I did get a new Brita filter. Going with this color for the next thousand episodes. You guys um, probably didn't even notice. Every thousand episodes I've been changing the color. It's going to help, you know, just distinguish between the episodes. And just a small change. So you'll be seeing that for a while. Alright, let's do the pH test. All right, here's the results of the pH test. None of them really advertised what the pH level is, so when they don't do that, you kind of go in with low expectations. But the Quest one looks kind of like a six, and the Sprouts one kind of looks about the same, about like a six. But the Nestle Pure Life one looks different. What color do you guys think that is? I am colorblind, but you guys look at the chart and decide for yourself what color the Nestle bottle pH level is. Maybe it does say on the bottle what level the pH is, and I just can't read it because I don't speak Chinese, but the Nestle one is definitely different than the other two. All right, I don't really have anything else to say about them. I'm just going to finish drinking them and decide which one I think tastes the best. Here we go. All right, so I would say that they are all very close, but they are definitely not identical. The worst one is the quest water it's got like a stronger plasticky taste more of like a sort of a zesty bar of soap mild taste to it um it's not it's not strong you know if i wasn't thinking about it i would gladly drink all three of these waters none of them get a thumbs down but out of the three this is the worst the second place is the sprouts water the purified water and the winner is the chinese Nestle Pure Life Water. I think the main reason this tastes better is because of the thicker plastic. It's just slightly thicker and it has more of a watery taste to it. Like it, it tastes more like nothing than these two. These two have like a cheap plastic bottle kind of taste to them. So this one's moving on to the round two. This one also, I think it has a higher pH level. I'm not sure, it's, it's either higher or lower. I'm colorblind, I can't tell, but I think it's a higher pH. So anyway, thanks for watching everyone.